Chers auditeurs, Dear listeners, bonjour. Welcome in Comme d'Archi Podcast Season 3. Saison 3 dans le monde fascinant des architectes. And in the architectural projects. Je suis Anne-Charlotte de Ponte, passionnée d'architecture et docteur des universités en histoire de l'archi. I am one of the spokespersons of Anne Charlotte, who is a PhD in architecture history. Merci. Thank you. D'être avec moi aujourd'hui. To be with us today. Et and maintenant, now, lundi en français, place au talent. And Wednesday, let's talk projects. In English, of course. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Dear listeners, good morning. This is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. It's good to meet you again in season 3 of Comme d'Archi, episode 47, with a text of Françoise NTP, French architect, about her museum project. That is a work in progress located in Benin. It is the Museum of the Epic of the Amazons and Kings of Danome, Abome, Benin. The programming corresponds to four permanent exhibition rooms, one temporary exhibition room, reception hall and services, offices, storerooms, logistics, parking, gardens. The surface area is 3,360 square meters plus exteriors. The site of the future Museum of the Epic of the Amazons and the Kings of Danome is located in the center of Abome within the precincts of the royal palaces. It has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1985. It will be built on the plot of land known as the Cour des Amazones, the former training ground of the female warriors and guards of the palaces. The project of the future museum is part of the tourism and cultural program Benin Revealed. In particular, it is part of the larger project to overhaul the royal palaces as a federating facility for the reconfiguration of the heritage visit. By using focal points that deliberately depart from the usual image of the existing palaces, the new museum project aims to maintain the link between the tangible and the intangible. A series of precepts were highlighted that guided the first intentions. The relationship between the ground and the sky, the definition of limits, the relationship to the exterior, the relationship between the interior and the exterior, a monolithic identity, a reference line marking the horizontality, the simplicity and the roughness, the layers of modé nature and the human factor. But the Museum of the Amazons and Kings of Danome is not at all in architectural mimicry of existing palaces. The volumetry of the new buildings remains simple in order to keep a coherent reading of the spaces created. Only the gradation of the heights of the museum roofs identifies the different parts of the program. Like large halls, their roofs are slightly and mysteriously detached, forming hats of different shapes and heights and maintained by portico structures. The non-continuous roof overhangs create a dynamic while at the same time acting as a protection for the walls and paths around the buildings. The project also gives pride of place to open spaces, to courtyards as places of exchange and appropriation, but also as an environment conducive to natural development, vegetation. The hall will have a color and material coherence, borrowing its color and physical properties from laterite or terre de barre. The roughness of the grey concrete will translate the link with contemporaneity by discrete touches. And the presence of wood will be magnified, particularly in the preciousness of the monumental doors. It will therefore be a subtle and balanced dialogue between traditional and modern techniques. The museum's project gives a certain importance to the materials chosen and used. The know-how of local craftsmen and workers will be highlighted in the construction of this unique building. In particular, a place of choice is given to traditional raw earth for the filling of the facades with compressed earth bricks, or BTC. Also, the design of the museum is mainly based on a bioclimatic development approach, which aims to take advantage of the natural energy of the site for its operation and sustainability. One of the challenges is to be able to regulate the building's heat by working on the envelope and the enclosure, and the interior devices guaranteeing the comfort of users and visitors. Dear listener, thank you for tuning in. Let's meet again next week for a new Kandashi in English. And until then, Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.
Thank you for listening. Thanks to Julien Rebourg, sound engineer, who is collaborating with us today. Don't forget to tune in to our previews on Instagram at Comme d'Archi Podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, don't hesitate to promote it by giving it five stars and a little comment on Apple Podcast or on your favorite podcast platform. And above all, subscribe to listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon. And until then, take care of yourself.